Mabuhay Pilipinas! Hello buong mundo! Good day learners! Today is another opportunity for you to learn disciplines and ideas in the social sciences. I am Sir Greg, your humanities and social sciences teacher, and I will guide you in today's lesson. Are you ready? Be sure that you are in your most comfortable learning spot. Have a copy of your self-learning module, activity sheet, notebook, and pen for noting important details. The political and social atmosphere of ancient Greece, Rome, and India favored the growth of intellectual exercises. Known thinkers of this period include Herodotus, the father of history, and Aristotle, the father of political science. The tradition of reasoning established by Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle was continued during the Age of Renaissance and Enlightenment in the 17th and 18th centuries. The intellectual atmosphere of the period led into the development of social sciences in the 19th century. In this lesson, you will learn the nature of social sciences and what makes it unique from the natural sciences and the humanities. According to Ukasha, science is generally understood as an endeavor to understand, explain, and predict the world we live in using distinctive methods of inquiry in an attempt to construct theories. It is however not easy to find a set of features that define what separates sciences from other attempts to understand and explain the world such as religion, astrology, and fortune-telling, which are generally not regarded as branches of sciences. Various authors define natural and social sciences in different ways. According to Azin Backer and Kemelowicz, natural and social sciences are both real sciences, as opposed to formal sciences which solve imaginary problems such as mathematics and the theoretical computer science. Other authors separate real sciences into categories such as literary studies or applied sciences which includes medicine and engineering. Natural sciences can be described as a systematic enterprise that builds and organizes knowledge in the form of testable explanations and predictions about the universe. Ladue defines natural sciences as disciplines that deal only with natural events. Example, independent and dependent variables in nature using scientific methods. While the employment of scientific methods is generally regarded as typical but not exclusive of natural sciences, it is the focus on natural events that distinguishes natural from social science. Social sciences, on the other hand, deals with the different aspects of human society. It is the science that studies the manner of individual behavior and how society influences the said behavior. It is also the science that can provide an explanation on how a society works from small social interactions to big-scale governance and economy. Social sciences branch out into subfields that studies all aspects of sociocultural human behavior. It includes, among others, anthropology, economy, geography, political science, and psychology. The disciplines of social sciences are viewed as those that deal with human society, societal groups, individuals in the relationship with others or institutions of societies and material goods as expression of human cohabitation. This definition shows the difficulty of grasping all aspects of social sciences as opposed to natural sciences, which have a common perspective rather than a common subject of study. The distinction between social and cultural sciences and humanities is controversial. Humanities is a branch of science concerned with human culture or critical and analytical inquiry based from man's unique ability to express himself. These studies heritage and answers the question as what makes us human. 
Upon knowing their definitions, let us now proceed to the comparison between the natural sciences, social sciences, and humanities. In terms of origin, the birth of natural science is marked by changing worldviews introduced by Renaissance thinkers who questioned earlier explanations about the world and turned to more systematic methods of investigation. Early leaders of the scientific revolution included Copernicus and Galileo, who were concerned with problems from disciplines including astronomy and physics, among others. Natural sciences arouse from curiosity about the world, as well as the endeavor to transform nature in favor of human necessities of life, both of which had not been possible to pursue freely in the era of slavery of the ancient society. The social sciences are much younger than the natural sciences, even though the social interactions in a society have probably been of interest for many centuries. Scientific studies of social interactions began as late as during the 19th century with sociological publications including Suicide by Amel Durkheim and Systeme de Politique Positive by August Comte the latter of which also set tone for a positivist approach to social sciences. The discipline of humanities, on the other hand, originated in 5th century BCE in Greece, where the first concentrated development of tragedy or drama and comedy was founded. In terms of subject of study, the aim of the natural sciences is to discover the laws that rule the world. The focus lies hereby on the natural and not on the social world, although the differentiation is not always simple. There are historically three core areas of the natural sciences that includes chemistry, biology, and physics. Nevertheless, this is not a final list of research areas since many other disciplines were later born out of these. As more knowledge is created, more specific questions arise. This leads to the fact that early natural scientists were generalists from today's perspective and later specialized in newly emerging disciplines such as astronomy in the beginning, different engineering disciplines later, and rather recently example in the last century created fields such as robotics or bionics. In contrast to the natural sciences, the study objects of social sciences can take notice of the forecast of scientists. Subject of study are the phenomena of social interaction and coexistence. Social sciences can rather be classified by their common perspective than through a specific subject of study. This perspective consists of the understanding and studying of a social aspect of society, a group of people, or a single individual. Humanities, on the other hand, focuses on arts, fashion, dance, music, theater, philosophy, religion, language, literature, and linguistics. In terms of methods, natural science methods are possibly the most popular methods of scientific investigation. The New American Oxford Dictionary even defines scientific methods in general as methods characterizing natural science since the 17th century consisting in systematic observation, measurement, and experiment. While there are other methods used by other sciences, these are without doubt the most important methods used in the natural sciences. Compared to the social sciences, the natural sciences rely more on mathematically based methods. The reason for this is the more uniform nature of natural sciences and accountability that enables the scientists to apply mathematics. While physics or chemistry rely to a large extent on controlled experimental settings, such settings cannot be created so easily for most investigations in economics or sociology.
One of the mainly used methods is the observation as a social science counterpart of the natural sciences experiment. It is much more difficult to carry out an experiment in social than in natural sciences. The reason therefore lies in the uncontrollability of social environments because of that the measurability of the highly complex social processes is often difficult or sometimes not possible at all. Nevertheless, experiments are used in, for example, in the behavioral economics and social psychology, even though not with the overwhelming success of the natural sciences experiments. Other important methods in social sciences are interviews, surveys, and case studies. Because the human experience cannot be adequately captured by facts and figures alone, humanities employed the following methods. Observation, historical method, conceptual analysis, phenomenology, textual criticism, and synoptic method. In this lesson, you have learned that social sciences deals with the different aspects of human society. It branched out into subfields that studies all aspects of sociocultural human behavior that includes, among others, anthropology, economy, political science, psychology, and geography. Natural sciences, on the other hand, can be described as a systematic enterprise that builds and organizes knowledge in the form of testable explanations and predictions about the universe. Humanities, on the other hand, is a branch of science concerned with human culture or critical and analytical inquiry based from man's unique ability to express himself. The study's heritage and answers the question as what makes us human. Before we end, challenge yourself by answering the checkpoint activity. Read the questions carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. Item number one. Science is a branch of knowledge or study dealing with body of facts. What do you call a branch of science that seeks to understand human beings and their society? A. Humanities B. Natural Science C. Physical Science D. Social Science Kindly write down your answer. Item number 2 which of the following is a branch of human knowledge or science that seeks to explain human heritage and find meaning and purpose in human experience? A. Geography B. Humanities C. Natural Science D. Social Science Can you write down your answer? Let us continue with item number 3. Which of the following concerns with the occurrence of natural phenomena such as earthquakes and typhoons? A. Humanities B. Metaphysics C. Natural Science D. Social Science Can you write down your answer? Item number 4. It usually involves the subdisciplines of arts, literature, music, poetry, religion, and philosophy. A. Astronomy B. Humanities C. Natural Science D. Social Science Can you write down your answer? And finally, item number 5. Which of the following is not true about social science? A. Deals with the different aspects of human society B. Study selective aspect of sociocultural human behavior. C. Studies the manner of individual behavior and how society influences the said behavior. D. Provide an explanation on how a society works from small social interactions to big scale governance and economy. Kindly write down your answer. Here are the answers. Item number 1 D. Item number 2B, item number 3C, item number 4B, and item number 5B. Congratulations, learners! 
That concludes our lesson. I hope you have learned something and remembered all the important details of our lesson. If ever you forget, you may watch this video again until you master it. Please be reminded to accomplish all the remaining tasks in your self-learning module and in your activity sheet. Keep safe and see you in our next learning session.